breaking travel news. Travel Talk with Phil Blizzard, talking to industry experts and decision makers. Aviation special and what a marvellous experience to be here in Washington, Seattle, Renton for the production of the Boeing 737. And Marty, we're by the side of the Fly Dubai 737. What stage is this at at the moment? Well, this is in final assembly and it's uh, day eight in terms of its production life cycle. And by 10, day 10, it's actually going to roll out that far door and be prepped for its first flight. Amazing. And what is fascinating is that this aircraft is slowly moving along as we talk at the moment, I believe. It is. It's on a pulse line in terms of our production process. It's very efficient. We're, in fact, building 42 737s per month using this production facility. 42 of these aircraft per month. That's quite a, quite a rate of production. How has that changed in time? Well, as I was just mentioning a while ago, when I was here in the mid-90s, we were actually building 24 airplanes a month, and we were talking about going to 30, and it was just unheard of. People didn't believe we could do it. And now today we're doing 42 in 2017 to 47 per month, and then 2018, based on market demand, up to 52 per month. We'll come on to that. That'll be the time of the 737 MAX in a moment. But here, it's a hive of activity with people doing, as you say, the final assembly of this Fly Dubai aircraft. We can see the, the logo mm. on the, the fin up there. Um, what does Fly Dubai mean to, to Boeing? Uh, Fly Dubai is an incredible partner of ours based in Dubai. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Fly Dubai ever since the beginning when they were actually talking about starting the airline. Mm. And in fact, ironically, at the time that we got engaged, they were very close to making a decision to purchase Airbus A320s. Uh, we came in very competitively. We have a very compelling story with the uh, 737-800 in terms of its efficiency, its passenger count, and reliability. And in the end, we uh, carried the day. And in Farnborough Air Show in 2008, we announced the order for 50 aircraft. And I believe this is number 50. This is number 50. So the evolution of the 737 is a fascinating story. It's probably one of the biggest sellers of commercial aircraft in the world, uh, of a single aisle aircraft. Is it over 7,000 or approaching 7,000? Approaching 7,000. Uh, even today, you know, we're into the early stage production of the 737 MAX, which is the next generation 737, and we've secured orders for over 2,700 of those airplanes. And what would be the key features of the MAX compared with this, the NG? Well, so it takes a lot of the lessons and capabilities of the NGs and moves it to the next level. Improved aerodynamics, new engines for better fuel efficiency. Overall, operational efficiency of the airplane is going to be about 14 to 20 percent better than this airplane we're standing beside. Wow, that's quite an improvement. Very attractive for commercial operators, of course. And um, just looking at the MAX in the Middle East environment, how do you see it being taken up by aircraft operators in the area you're involved in, Middle East Africa and uh, Russia? Well, certainly. Taking the NG and the reliability and the way the airplane is performed for our operators in the region, uh, predominantly our biggest operator is here, Fly Dubai. Uh, we expect to continue that success with the MAX. Um, it's a great product, perfectly suited to that environment, and the reliability of the airplane is incredible. Well, Marty, thank you very much for talking to us and giving us the opportunity to come around to the production factory, and in particular, the 50th aircraft for Fly Dubai.